Fast forward to Ethiopia. I always show people this and I usually ask, what is unusual about this building? It takes people a little while to figure it out. But it's not technically a building, it's a carving. The architect and the builders of this 800 year old church dug down into the ground and carved the building out of the mountain. And that's what it looks like inside. Uh, this is a stele, weighs 300 tons. We don't actually know how 2,000 years ago, people in Ethiopia managed A, to carve this block of granite, and B, to get it to stand up without a crane. If you look closely, it's imitating a multi-storey building. I can't say that they had multi-storey buildings, but there's a door at the bottom, and there's what are clearly floors and the imitation of windows going up to the top. It's fairly impressive to get a 300 tonne block of granite to stand up without a crane. And it isn't even the largest stele found in Ethiopia in this time. The largest one found weighs 500 tonnes, double, but it's no longer standing. Now, if I showed you these castles, and we didn't know this was a presentation on African history, we'd probably assume these were in England or Scotland or Norway, but these are Ethiopian castles from the 17th century. 